This is the original frame that I made when I first started knife making. This is 2x72, it's a steel frame. It was based off, the all the or yellow was based off of the USA no weld plans that I bought. And um, used steel tube, had a 5 horsepower motor here, had the drive system there, it was a step pulley. Later I added um, these aluminum parts, this is a tracking deal and had added these aluminum uh, tubes to replace the steel tubes for the tool arm and the tool rest holder. The steel tube was just too sloppy and I couldn't... Uh, it was really a pain to try to get the slop out in the same way because I'm using a... Uh, I use a bevel guide in my grinding and so it's important to have it accurate. These are really awesome. The uh, steel clamp... or these aluminum clamps I had a guy come in my shop two days ago with a Fear 454, and he carried it in uh, with just the motor and the frame. He left the platen and everything, and I carried the VFD for him, and it was all he wanted to carry. It was that heavy. This one, all aluminum, is extremely light in comparison. It's probably about half the weight of what his frame and motor were, and including my whole VFD. Uh, motor, frame, and a platen, it's not difficult for a person to pick it up. I'm not a big person, um, and so I could carry this around pretty comfortably. doesn't take a lot of straining to pick it up. Move it around. This is my clamping system. It's an all aluminum frame welded together, and I've taken an inch and a quarter or a two inch square tube with a quarter inch wall, and I've ripped a slot in it, and then welded these tabs on there to cl to form a clamp. And then what it does is it clamps when I tighten it clamps around all four sides of this inch and a half square bar, and centers it, locks it in place, and holds the entire length of the clamp, and not just on the point of a bolt like um, nearly every other machine that I've seen that uses set bolts, they just lock at one point and they have quite a bit of slop in their tubes so things kind of move around. I go for, I'm really after accuracy and repeatability in my grinding methods. I like to grind very fast and get predictable results um, so that I know what I'm going to get before I even start. And then I grind very quickly to get those results. Here on this side of the clamp you can see how tight it fits. It's a very close fit. As soon as you tighten it, it doesn't move. As soon as you loosen it, it moves very easily. No bolt marks, no nothing in there. As far as I know, nobody else is using a method like that or even an aluminum frame that I'm aware of. Tracking system is not um, rocket science just got a little Teflon nylon footed uh, tracking adjuster in there that pushes this in and out it's really a simple thing this is a guard this is a belt catcher in case the belt breaks it doesn't uh, come around one of the things about my grinding though I don't grind when I'm going at high speed I'm standing to the side of the blade because I use a jig and All right, so I've had some, I posted uh, online before and I had comments that there's no way this machine is, that little motor is doing 7,000 surface feet per minute on the belt. And some of it was they didn't understand what the motor was. They made assumptions that uh, turned out to be not correct about the motor. Thought it might have been a, you know, like a 15,000 RPM. Thought it might have been a 15,000 RPM. Uh, DC motor or something like that um, so that's one of the reasons I'm including all the specifications so there's no guessing of what I'm doing and what is driving this and now I'm what I'm going to do is use this little target I've got a laser tachometer and we'll let you see for yourselves that it's producing 7,000 surface feet per minute like I was claiming this is a two. This is a two-inch wheel, so the number on here, the the 
RPM of this wheel, you can calculate it using a two-inch wheel.